good night to your fantastic elastic brain. A growth mindset book for kids about the amazing things your fantastic elastic brain does after you say good night. The space between your eyes and between your ears is filled with something that looks like a big pink walnut. Your brain. What does the brain do? Your brain is like a computer in your head with millions of little wire-like cells called neurons. These neurons work together to think, feel, move your body. And remember, your brain does all the things that make you you. Neurons, in other words, you are your brain. Kick, 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 kick. After a long day, your body needs rest and recovery. Your body's daytime work is to do whatever you tell it to do. Walk, run, play with your friends, and learn. Your body's nighttime work is to rest, recover, and recharge. It's called an organ, but in many ways, the brain really acts like a muscle because as you grow, it strengthens, and the more you use it, the stronger it becomes. Your brain has many different parts. Each part has a special job. Motor cortex, amygdala, occipital lobe, motor cortex. There is a part across the middle of your head from ear to ear called the cortex, which controls your body. If you were to wave, that part of your brain sends a message to your hand to move. Occipital lobe. In the back of your head, there is a part of your brain called the occipital lobe. That part receives pictures from your eyes and tells you what you're seeing. Amygdala. Deep in the middle of your brain is the amygdala. This is where many of your feelings are, like fear. If something scares you, your amygdala is sending you that message. Practice makes permanent. Your brain acts like a muscle. The more you practice something you are learning, the better your brain will become. At doing that task. Learning causes the brain to grow stronger. Your brain works hard every day and wants to be pushed and challenged to learn as much as possible. Your brain helps you learn how to ride a bike, play a violin, open your eyes, read a book. By nighttime comes, your brain and body are getting tired and it is time to rest and recover. But your brain is different. Even though your brain spends all day thinking, feeling, moving your body, learning and remembering, its job is not done. Your brain can't stop working completely at night because it needs to keep your body functioning while you sleep. The night shift. Slow down heart, lungs, muscles. Stop muscles. Lower parts of your brain, the medulla, located in the brain stem, tells your heart and lungs to slow down and relax. Since you won't be so active at night, you won't need so much energy and oxygen, so your heart and lungs can slow a bit. Sleep is ubiquitous. It's a wonderfully big word that describes sleep. It means that all animals sleep in some way. Bugs sleep, fish sleep, cats sleep, and babies sleep. Even though you are not aware of all that is happening around you, your brain still responds to sight, sounds, and other things. Loud noises, like that annoying alarm clock, will wake you up because your ears still hear. Your parents' gentle touch on your head or shoulders to wake you up because your skin still senses touch and motion. The smell of pancakes might wake you up because your nose always knows. All these things tell us that your brain is still working when you sleep. Even though it may take louder sounds, stronger arousal, or spicier smells to catch your attention than when you're awake. Brain's nighttime checklist. Develop. Gain control. Remember. Forget. Energize. Take a bath and dream. Because your brain is so busy helping you think, feel, and move during the day, it does its best work at night. Your brain develops. When you're are born, you have billions of neurons with lots of bushy branches called dendrites. The tip of these branches make contact with other neurons at a point called synapsis, and this is how electrical impulses are transmitted to other neurons. Over time, these connections between neurons become closer and stronger. This is partially because of the number of synapses become pruned. 
extra or unused synapses are shared, shared away like trimming of a branch of a tree. While you sleep, Gilia cells help you prune unnecessary or unused synapses to strengthen important connections between neurons. This makes your brain work faster as you grow and develop. So unlike the trees in your yard, the more branches and time to, that grow more branches with time, sleep helps your brain reduce its branches and strengthens the pathways used most often. Your brain gains control. Being able to plan and make decisions is a big part of what makes us human. Planning your next move in a game or deciding what to wear happens in your prefrontal cortex, or PFC. This brain area develops rapidly as you grow and will continue to be sculpted until you are in your 20s. Right now, the PFC is already playing a very important role in helping you make decisions, follow rules, and think clearly about what you want to do in the future. Get a good night's sleep improves the processing power of your PFC and helps you take control of yourself. Your brain remembers. All of the things you learned while awake, your brain has to stamp in when you learn so you don't forget. You don't know what's happening during sleep, but when you wake up and someone asks you what where you went yesterday, you remember the details because they were stamped in while you slept. What you learned at school, how to make pizza dough, when you set the table. This is called constellation. Consolidation. It is just like pressing your hands into wet concrete. Once the concrete hardens, the handprints are there to stay. Things you have learned need to set overnight, so you can remember what you learned for years to come. In many ways, we sleep to remember. Lots of information you learn requires the hippocampus because the neurons are there, especially good at storing information about people, places, and events you experience. The hippocampus is named after a Greek word for seahorse because it is shaped like the tail of a seahorse. Your brain forgets. Let's face it, sometimes we have a rough day. Sometimes we get scared by something that happens. Sometimes our feelings get hurt. These exercises are an important part of life and help us become resilient, especially if we sleep well. Did you know that sleep helps bad memories feel not so bad? We still remember those events, but the emotional part of our brain fades faster with a good night's sleep. But if we don't sleep well, those strong feelings stick around a whole lot longer. We sleep to forget. Your brain energizes. Your brain is hungry all the time. It requires more blood flow to deliver oxygen and glucose, sugar, two essential fuels for your brain activity than any other part of your body. To use those sugars as fuel, your body needs to reset every night while you sleep. If you sleep too little, you are likely to eat too much because your brain is not using sugar effectively. Sleep makes your brain and body burn fuel more effectively, so you can run farther, learn faster, and become more resilient. Your brain sleeps when your dinner has been digested and your blood glucose has re returned to normal level. Sugary snacks and sweets right before bedtime can cause a surge in glucose. That makes it harder to sleep constantly through the night. Your brain takes a bath. You have to take a bath and shower to get clean, which helps remove dirt and germs to help you stay healthy. Your brain is so busy during the day that it generates a lot of waste, which it needs to be washed away at night. The liquid in your head surrounding your brain is called the cerebral spinal fluid. The day work of your cerebral spinal fluid is to protect your soft brain from bumping into the hard bone of your head, your skull. The night work of the cerebral spinal fluid is to flow through your brain like a bath or a shower to clean it. Over your lifespan, your nightly brain baths will help you sleep while being an important for healthy brain aging. Your brain dreams. We all dream, but scientists still know very little about why. Dreaming happens often off on through the night. 
with more dreams happening later in the night. During the most intense stage of sleep, your brain is the most active. Your eyes wiggle back and forth. This is why we call it rapid eye movement, REM stage of sleep. Why do your eyes wiggle? No one knows. During REM sleep, your brain is very, very active, but the muscles in your arms and legs and fingers and toes are unable to move. This is called REM paralysis, and it is really important from preventing you from acting out your dreams and getting injured. Imagine if you were dreaming about dancing on stage. Without REM paralysis, you'd be doing pirouettes in your bed, not just in your head. Even though the purpose of dreams is one of the greatest mysteries of our brain, we know REM sleep is essential, and without it, we, can't, we cannot live without it. Have you ever watched a puppy sleep? You can see their eyes wiggle back and forth during REM sleep. Sometimes they will whimper and har harmer, hummer. Their paws will twitch and they might jerk their head a little. This happens because they're having a dream so intense. A little bit of muscle movement leaks out from under the REM paralysis. We all sleep in different ways. We sleep best when we let our bodies follow the rhythm. This means we fall asleep and wake up about the same time each day. Some people go to bed and sleep in late. Others go to bed and wake up early. But we all need sleep. Babies need the most sleep. Teens and kids need a lot of sleep. Adults need less sleep. As you become elder, you need more sleep and you might even start napping again. What happens if you don't get enough sleep? You forget because your brain didn't have time to stamp in what you've learned. You make de bad decisions because your prefrontal cortex is too tired to think and plan. You become impulsive because your prefrontal cortex has a hard time controlling what you want to do. You might get grouchy or emotional because your amygdala, which controls emotions, becomes overactive. You feel more pain things that would normally cause a little pain. Ouch, I dropped a rock on my toe. May make that pain feel unbearable. You get very, very hungry because your brain needs sleep to help you use fuel, fuel, sugar effectively. Go to sleep at a regular time and get the right amount of sleep is how you can keep your brain growing and learning and elastic. A rested brain is a healthy brain which helps your whole body be healthier. For someone four to eight years old, it takes between 10 and 13 hours to do all of this night work. Train your brain to go to bed the same time every night is important. Why you have this little part in the middle of your brain called the pineal gland that makes a chemical that makes you sleepy called melatonin. If you go to bed at the same time every night, the pineal gland learns your bedtime and will begin producing melatonin to make it easier for you to fall asleep. You can train your brain when to sleep. Your pineal gland looks like a pea. You are your brain. Everything you think, feel, and do is controlled by your brain. You can build a better brain by keeping track of your sleep. And now you know why. Everyone needs regular sleep because your brain has many important jobs that happen after you say goodnight. During sleep, your brain grows and develops gains control, remembers and focuses, energizes, takes a bath, dreams. We know that you have the ability to help your brain grow by trying new things, making mistakes, and learning from your mistakes. But you have the power to train and grow your brain even more just by going to sleep. Good night.